Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie and welcome back to another video. If you hear anything, Carter is down here sucking on a toothbrush, pretending she's brushing her teeth. So she's being extra noisy with that. But um, yeah, I wanted to open up this video with us. We're just about to head out to a little petting zoo. Jeremy's dad's coming with us as well, um, just to stop by, but he, it like happenstance worked out. He's gonna come with us. Orange? Okay, mom will get you some orange. But anyway, we're gonna take Carter to a little petting zoo. It is the FFA tied with the high school that's by us. They're having a petting zoo. They have a ton of new like baby animals and things like that. And there's no school today. So I guess that's why they're having it today. But um, yeah, I'm really excited. We're gonna take Carter to that. And it'll probably just be a few days in my life as a stay at home mom. It's Monday, so um, We'll see what all we get up to over the next few days, but we're going to start with going to this little petting zoo. Go, sissy! Cool! Cool! What does the duck sound like? Ga, ga, ga. Yeah, you might scare them. <laughs> hi! Wave hi! You gonna pet it? Wow! You being gentle? <laughs> Good job, baby. Sissy. What is it, Sissy? Sheep. <laughs> he likes you. <laughs> Are you petting the cows, baby? Oh, wet nose. Wet nose. Are we having some dip, baby? Are we having dip? But you gotta eat your chip, too. Oh my gosh. Can you take a bite of your chip? You want some more what? Yeah. The the chip is not just a shovel for your salsa, baby. You've got to eat your chip, too. Uh, I have you. Sissy, you got to eat your chip. Okay. Uh, what's wrong with your chip? Cheers. Holy cow. Sissy, you're going to need... A bath. Hit. Hit. What's in your shirt? Did you get dip on your shirt? What are you doing, sis? You getting every last drop? We got done eating our little snack. Jeremy got off work and it's not even like five o'clock despite how dark it is, but I think it's like 445. But he took Carter out to go to the park, have some little daddy daughter time. And he was like, you should just stay home and like relax basically. So I immediately put on a sweatshirt and my PJ bottoms because I don't know if anybody else is like this, but like the second I get home, I am taking my pants off. I'm taking my bra off and I'm putting on my comfy clothes immediately. So anyways, I am just relaxing in bed. I am finishing this book. Mark my words. In this video, I will have this book finished because for the entirety of, I think, like me starting this channel over the last six weeks or so, I have been reading this book and I'm over it. I'm at this point, I just want to finish it. It's really good. Really good. Despite how I'm acting. It's just that, like, it's time. It's time to close this chapter, no pun intended, and move on to my Divine Rivals book that I've been wanting to start. So I have like 110 pages, 
And I told that to Jeremy and he was like, he is not a fast reader. Uh, he doesn't really read like fiction either. He reads mainly nonfiction, which freaking bore me. But anyways, he was like, that would take me a month. And I was like, no, like this will take me like a day and a half if I put my mind to it. So yes, mark my words. I will finish this in this video. But yeah, I am just taking advantage of a little bit of me time. And then when they get back, honestly, it'll be pretty much like dinner, put Carter to bed, like bath, put her to bed. And Jeremy and I will have our evening alone time that is always nice to just like kind of set, do like a reset of the house and start fresh for tomorrow morning. But yeah, I'm gonna take advantage of that and I'm gonna read this about to head out the door to the gym. It's like 6.20. Um, and I'm going to the gym early today because Carter is only taking one nap now. And so Jeremy and I are trying out a new little schedule where we split up the week to each go to the gym in the morning before she wakes up. Um, so I'm about to take off and do my first morning gym workout, which is super foreign to me, but I'm excited because um, later today is library class. And so I'm gonna take her to the library to do a little like singing, book reading class that they have, um, which is usually during her nap time when she was taking two naps. So I'm excited to take her to that. So it just makes sense to do a workout in the morning and then like I talked about not having as much me time, now I will because on her afternoon nap, I'm not gonna be like thinking I need to go to the gym or get my workout in. It's just like the time I could do whatever I wanted to do. So yeah, this is a little foreign to me though because I'm usually like a midday gym goer. But I'm gonna go do that and then take her to library class and then around like 10, and then I have a massage this afternoon that Jeremy booked me, so I'm really excited. Um, it's much needed and just super thoughtful to have that booked for me. So I'm gonna have that later on. So today's just like a busy day, so I'm excited to go to the gym and just get it out of the way. But I have my coffee in hand, of course, and I'm gonna head out the door. I made my big old plate of breakfast. And if you're wondering why I'm in the car, because this little monster wants me to sit out here and eat so she can play in the car. She has spray for spraying pans out of the recycling. She just stole my berry and said, sissy berry. So we're gonna hang out in here while I eat my breakfast. It's my go-to berries, oats, and eggs with, egg whites with one egg added. Hi sissy, can you say hi? Can you say good morning? What are you doing? Good morning. Woo! Good morning. We just got to library class. I got home and Carter and I showered and got ready for the day. Are you looking so cute? So cute. Um, we just got to library class. We're a little bit early, so we're just gonna hang out. There's a little park, so maybe we'll go play for a minute and then head inside to library class. We haven't been here in a long, long time since she was on two naps for so long so we are here and we're excited are we gonna go play baby a couple of my mom friends bring their daughters here too and they're all within like a few months of each other so it's really fun to get them all together um we're actually having a play date at one of their houses tomorrow too so um it's just like a fun week for us this week and lots of action for carter which is so nice to have her socialize with other kids but let's go in huh can you say let's go in Okay, we gotta leave Binky and Ellie here. Good job. Ellie. Ellie, we gotta leave Ellie here. Just wake up from a nap and have crazy hair. Okay. Here's your cheese, baby. Here you go. Now, Mama, have Binky so you can eat your snack. Good job. Good job. Big yawn, huh? 
we got back from library class, as I showed a little bit of, I, I was thinking I would film in there, but then I was like, I don't know what I was thinking. There's like so many parents and Mac, kids. Mac. Mouth, you have cheese in your mouth? Do you want some water? Do you want some water? Okay. But anyways, I don't know what I was thinking. There's like a ton of kids and parents and stuff. And so I wasn't going to film in there. Um, I was just thinking it's, she's so cute in there, like <coughs> dancing and singing songs and stuff. I wasn't thinking about the fact there's obviously all these other people in there. And just personally, like I wouldn't want somebody filming her without me knowing. So anyways, we didn't film in library class, but she just has a blast in there. If you have a library that does like sing, sing songs, reads books. Um, does a little class like that for your kids age group I highly recommend because it's a nice little kill an hour of time especially when the weather's bad it's like a way to get out of the house and her get some interaction with other kids because you know she stays home with me so I try to do things a couple times a week where she's around other people and kids just so she's like socialized and whatnot so we do library class and then every Wednesday pretty much either here or at one of the other mom's houses we do a play date um, which is always nice because then us moms can just like hang out, but yeah, we got back. She had lunch. I took her hair out. I had it up in little piggies and um, yeah, it smells like pesto. She was rubbing her hands in her hair after she ate her lunch and then she took a nap. She took a two hour nap, which is really nice. Um, so we're just having a little snack before I go to my massage here in the next like 10 minutes or so. Um, which is just like a huge treat to me. This day's been really nice going to the gym and then having like two hours while she napped to do whatever I wanted. It was really nice, so I'm feeling refreshed. I'm back for my massage. I'm all like oily and <laughs> probably still have like that ring around my face from it, but um, I didn't film anything while I was there. I just was like, it's just the room. I don't really know what I would video, so. Anyways, I'm back for my massage. It was really needed. It felt so good. Um, but now I'm like all oily feeling, which I'm actually excited about because I got a notification that my new skincare I was talking about got delivered. So we're about to do some dishes. And then when, and Carter's gonna help me because she loves to help me clean. So we're gonna do some dishes. And then when Jeremy gets off work in a little bit, we're gonna go for a little walk and get the mail so that I can grab my skincare because Tonight's the night to try it. I've got like oil from the massage on me still, still on my face and I can try out all this new skincare stuff, but you wanna put your socks on? But she's anxious to get her socks and shoes on since I said we're gonna go outside. So I'm gonna put her socks and shoes on and we're just gonna do some dishes and then head outside for a walk in just a little bit. Let's get you a sponge. Sissy needs a sponge too. <gasps> Which color? Which color? Which one do you want? You want that one? That one's white. That's a white sponge. Sissy, here's your toe. Mama has a sponge and Sissy has a sponge. Cheers. Can you wash the spoon? Wash the spoon. Oh my goodness. Good job, baby. Are you gonna make more of a mess? You're a mess maker? Oh, you're cleaning? Good job, baby. Oh, you see? Do you see Sissy on here? Is that Sissy when you were a baby? Yeah. Sis, what are you doing up on the table? What are you doing? Sit. You're sitting. What do you have? Is that your Toy Story juice? Show Mama. Can Mama see it? Wow, baby, is it good? <laughs> Let me see. Show me Woody. Woody. We buy her these little <laughs> apple juices, and then, wow, we take out like three-fourths of it and just fill it with water, basically. Walking. Walking crazy girl. So then it's literally like <laughs> two tablespoons apple juice with water. And it's like this fun little treat for her. And then we just keep the rest of the apple juice and 
Refill it every so often, giving her a little fun treat. Huh, sissy? Cheers. Cheers, mama. <laughs> phone. Cheers, the phone. Drink. Can you go get him? Let's go get Dada. Oh, my fast girl. Are you a fast girl? You're running? Oh. You're running this way now? Carter's doing her favorite thing. What'd you find? A rock. And what are you going to do with your rock? I'm going to throw it in the Wawa. You can do it. Go. Whoa, splash. Okay, another rock. One more and then we're going to go get Dada, okay? Show me. Wow, baby. Where are you going? Put it in and then we're going to go get Dada. Last one. Okay, let's go get Dada. Go, go, go. Go get Dada. Go home. We just put Carter down for her um, to go to bed. <laughs> Not for her nap. To go to bed. Um, so I thought I would come in here and show you my skincare stuff that I got because I'm going to get ready for bed and wipe all this oil off my face that is still on there from the massage. Um, I'm trying to talk a little bit quiet because Carter's room is on the other side of this wall. Um, but I got my package from Ulta. Oh my gosh, I'm so bummed right now. Well, I mean, I'm kind of bummed. Like, I ordered like four things and only two things came. But I did get, um, the main thing I was excited about was this oil cleanser to use before my like foaming cleanser to wash my makeup off. And that was what I was gonna use tonight to like get all this grime off. Ugh, I'm so bummed, but that's fine. I'll still be able to show you. I got um, this Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. It's a really affordable skincare line and it had really good reviews and I've been wanting to get a new hyaluronic acid because although I have like oily skin as, as I've talked about, the problem is that it's like dehydrated and so when you hydrate your oily skin more, it produces less oil if that makes sense. So I got this big boy. Um, and I'm going to use that after I cleanse and I read online that if you keep your face damp when you put your serum on that it helps it absorb into your skin better. So I'm going to be using that. Um, and then I got this e.l.f. camo liquid blush in this like really cute rose pink color and Look how pigmented that is. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm excited to use that tomorrow. I've been wanting to do more creams just for not looking so like dry with powders and whatnot, but so I'm gonna try that blush tomorrow. But I'm gonna wash my face right now and then go in with the serum and see how it does with like hydration and whatnot. And then for my cleanser, I just pulled it out of the shower. I've showed this before. I use this Youth to the People Kale Green Tea Spinach superfood cleanser. I've been using this and you can see it's like almost, it's almost out. Um, I've been using that for ever. I feel like like probably two years now. Um, so I'm going to go in with that, go in with this, my moisturizer. And then I'm hoping I wake up tomorrow with like more hydration. <laughs> Okay, my skin's still damp, and I also read online that you should not touch the actual dropper to your skin because when it touches your skin, when you're dropping drops onto it, like bacteria from your skin, or if you drop onto your fingers and you touch your hands, bacteria from your skin can get onto the dropper and then you put it back into the like jar and it brings that bacteria back into the serum. So don't actually touch stuff onto your face that gets like resubmerged back into the dropper, but it feels really good. I mean, I've had like hyaluronic acid serums before, like I've used to use the um, ordinary one, and that one's like really, really cheap. Um, 
but honestly I didn't really feel like I liked it that much so I don't know what the percentage of this one is it doesn't even say I don't think so um but it had really good reviews so I'm going to just put my moisturizer on I just used the like CeraVe CeraVe daily moisturizer and um I'm gonna put that on which also supposedly has hyaluronic acid in it but it's not like you know super high quality i'm sure because that's a really affordable um skincare maybe it's good i don't know but i'm gonna put that on and then i'll report back in the morning if i feel like my skin's more hydrated because if i if it does hydrate it i'm gonna i mean i'm gonna notice because my skin's been feeling really dehydrated lately so i'll report back but as of now i mean it feels like it soaks into the skin really well so so far so good good morning Downstairs. Book. A book? Okay, come here. Let's get one. Book. Oh, oh. but we gotta leave Binky in the crib. Good job. <laughs> Mama mixed it, huh? Such a movie. I wrote to the zoo to send me a pet. They sent me an elephant. elephant. He was too big. Or big. I sent him back. Back. Camel. 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 He was too grumpy. I sent him back. I back. So they sent me a monkey. What's a monkey say? He was too naughty. I sent him back. Back. Good official morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, midweek. Wednesday's always like the turning point of the week because then it's just like boom, boom, boom. It's the weekend. Um, we're just getting up and going. Jeremy's upstairs with Carter right now. He's getting ready to go to the gym. Um, I think I mentioned we're trying to like switch off gym days and going in the morning and kind of just like getting out of the way that way during her naps. Well, for him, he's working, but for me during her naps, I her one nap I get um, just to do what I wanna do. So today's his gym day. So I'm just gonna try to film just like a normal morning routine with Carter, like what we do um, specifically on days when he's gone and like not here to help and stuff. But just made my coffee and Skin update, I used that hyaluronic acid um, last night as I showed. And I woke up and I was like, I mean, yeah, my skin feels good, but nothing like crazy. And I'm like, maybe it's placebo, like I have like a placebo effect or something, I don't know, just cause I got something new. So I'm like, oh yeah, my skin feels good. Um, but apparently online I was looking up, hyaluronic acid can take like eight weeks to actually show improvement with like elasticity, and hydration in your skin. So we will have to report back in the future on whether I actually really like it. I'm gonna keep using it and hopefully it does help. But, and then of course, this is so funny to me. I got, I got four products in my like Ulta order that I made. And they all came the same day at different times in three different packages. So I also got just some eyebrow gel, irrelevant. I got that blush, the liquid blush I showed, the hyaluronic acid, and then what I was excited to show and see if it worked good was this DHC deep cleansing oil. I just got a small one to try it out, but it's a cleansing oil that you use first to take off all your like makeup. It helps get rid of like dirt and grime and stuff like that. And then you go in with your um, regular cleanser. And I wanted to get it because this is a lot more affordable. My cleanser is like $40, I think. So it's expensive. And it's annoying to, I double cleanse always, you know, at night. And 
so I'm using twice the amount of that like jelly cleanser and I don't want to do that because it just goes through so much and it's expensive so I was like well if I have a more affordable cleanser to use first and I've been wanting to try an oil cleanser um I won't go through as much of my more expensive like foaming cleanser so you buy two products but you're technically saving money um which is girl math so anyway I got those I'll try those eventually but as far as the hyaluronic acid goes remains to be seen I guess but um yeah so we're just gonna get on with the morning I just made my coffee I think I said and I'm gonna hang out and play with Carter while Jeremy goes to the gym and then we'll do breakfast and stuff eventually what are you doing you want mama to go in the tunnel okay sissy go in go in mama we'll go in the other side where's sissy like randomly like I think I'm gonna make today be the day I'm gonna hang it up so I just found the studs but I'm only gonna be able to use one of them because the mirror width is further apart so I have like a 50 pound anchor I can put into the drywall and I'm gonna hang up the mirror because we've had it tucked behind this couch so that she doesn't pull it on top of herself and it's getting kind of annoying I want to be able to use it here and this is like the corner of this room there's this chair that's literally an extension color, color. color yeah uh this chair that's like an extension of our couch um it's just sitting here because we got a chair for jeremy downstairs so this doesn't fit downstairs but we're thinking of putting the mirror here obviously and then a nice little corner chair here with a little uh nightstand right here or like you know a little side table and then right here be a tall lamp and this be like a little reading corner is the idea so hopefully that's our next project and we're able to like finish this room but i'm so happy we got the mirror up yeah baby i am just putting on a little bit of makeup i just did some skincare i used that hyaluronic acid serum again i'm gonna put on a little bit of concealer and I'm going to try out a couple of new things that I talked about. This e.l.f. like liquid blush. I've heard good things about and had really good reviews. And then my eyebrow gel, since I think I talked about it, since going more blonde, I feel like when I use a my like brown eyebrow pencil or eyebrow gel, um, it makes me just look like really washed out and like my eyebrows are way too dark. So I got the blonde eyebrow gel, which... I think it's gonna be pretty good. So I'm gonna go in with some concealer. I feel like I'm easily gonna use way too much of this. Oh my gosh, it's like neon. Maybe just like two dots. <laughs> that you can't really tell 
I'm wearing blush because it's just like red down here. So I am gonna go in with like a little bit more concealer. Just on my like cheek area, like lower cheek area. And then maybe a tiny more blue blush. Hi. Hi. Where's Ellie, baby? Upstairs, baby. We brought we brought Buzz upstairs. I'm gonna put on some powder just to set like my under eyes and stuff. I don't want to like set all my skin because I feel like it looks kind of nice like this. Are you? Did you fall over? But as I said, I'm an oily girl, so I do need to set some of it. Oh, hand. Get Buzz. Buzz needs to go save the day. Save the day. Save the day. Okay, here's one eyebrow with the blonde on. What do you think, baby? What about this next? <laughs> well, I see that your left one is bigger. Yeah, look, that's the one that has the eyebrow gel. Does the color look kind of weird? I feel like it's almost like yellowy. Yeah. Yeah, it looks fake. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna return that. It just looks like, I don't know if I can even see. I feel like it looks it better. It looks drawn on for some reason. Yeah, it just like, I don't know. Let me do the other color on the other eyebrow. I don't know if you can tell. I feel like the lighting's horrible because it's so dark out, but I don't know if either eyebrow looks good. But this one's the blonde, this one's the light brown, and I feel like I don't like either of them, so I don't know which one to go with, but I definitely don't want the, the blonde because it's like pulling a yellow color. It just looks weird. Um, but I definitely don't, I feel like this is too uh, too dark. So I think I'm back to square one trying to find a eyebrow gel that I like. Alrighty, I am in front of my window in the closet because I feel like it has the best lighting. Um, my bathroom just makes you look so bad. Like... It, there's just no way around it. The makeup just doesn't look good when you're applying it and then you come into natural lighting and you're like, oh, that looks nice. So yeah, the blush is definitely brighter than I'm used to, but um, I really liked it, the application and everything. Liquid is so new to me though because i am always been like a powder girl. So it's just gonna be like a little bit of a learning curve I feel like for using um, that, but I really liked it. Uh, the eyebrow gel, I just took off the blonde and put on both eyebrows being light brown so at least they match until I find one that I like more, but um, yeah, it felt really good to buy a little bit of new like skincare and makeup products. Just kind of felt like I was pampering myself a bit and they were all super affordable. So it wasn't like breaking the bank. And, um, but yeah, I think, I think we're just going to like do breakfast and we, our play date got moved to Friday and unfortunately it's raining today. So that's super sucky because I don't have anything planned to do with Carter. Um, so I'm hoping, I'm just going to like spend time with her this morning until her nap and not video and all that. And probably when she naps, I'll edit this, but I think I'm just going to close out this video here. And I just wanted to say thank you to the new subscribers I've gotten. I'm so appreciative of everybody who subscribes. Um, it's just like really exciting for me to have every single person who subscribes, even though my channel is so tiny. It just makes me so excited to feel like people might relate to me or enjoy my content enough to subscribe to my channel. Um, but yeah, I am going to just close out this video here. Again, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody for watching and we'll see you in my next